Let's be leaders. Let's call out the ill behaviors of those wiping their asses with the very tradition that sustains this country. Long live Webster! Gentlemen, what's going on? This is the Better Man channel where we refuse to be canceled. Cancel culture is just throwing Webster's hard work out the damn window. It's like they ran out of toilet paper during the COVID shortage, so they started wiping their ass with the dictionary. And then they realized their kid had a school research paper, so they desperately started writing their own damn dictionary to fill the void. Tell me you've encountered this. Please tell me you've battled it out with someone that uses a word that has traditionally meant one thing for hundreds of years even. But now they've twisted it up to mean something completely opposite of its origin. It's like Mr. Potato Head with these folks. They're putting a hand where the nose should go and calling it neo-science. And what's my point? Well, how would you like it if I called you a Nancy or a leftist? Might piss you off and hopefully you'd shrug it away. But my point being, words can be like daggers, man. Words can be strongly manipulative. And, damn it, sometimes words just freaking hurt, man. In short, words are powerful. A good speech motivates men to run through walls. For example, I like William Wallace in Braveheart. And on that same note, and movie, one word, FREEDOM can send chills down your spine. Words can elicit a downpour of tears or incite ignorance, ignorant violence. And again, why should we be concerned? Well, because we as men are choosing to pursue sovereignty and the tradition of masculinity. And in a politically correct echo chamber of cancel communism, one must always be aware and know the strategy of the enemy. The weak will never show up with muscle. Instead, they'll choose the weakest warfare of all. An emotional arsenal of defamation. That's right. It's came down to the high school girls locker room. Brenda is prettier and downright more cool to be with, and let's face it, she's not a skank. So Karen's boyfriend chooses Brenda over Karen. Co figure. So Karen sinks to the depths of hell, and instead of becoming cool, she just calls Brenda a slut and spreads rumors so that Brenda is cancelled from the social circle of importance. Sound familiar? Well, it should. Those that feel less than are choosing to redefine strength and hurl these new meanings of so-called equality at the strong. And what's our shield? Truth and fortitude. The left is slowly beginning to chew their own legs off. Examples being this trans pin swimmer and the uproar that's bringing. Add in the recent whoopee incidents and ignorance can't help but be ignorant. God knows I've stepped in enough of my ignorance. And with that being said, let's be leaders. Let's call out the ill behaviors of those wiping their asses with the very tradition that sustains this country. Long live Webster! So as we begin to stand in and promote a healthy masculinity and a return to tradition and even a return to excellence, there's going to be those of the politically correct side that throw teenage girl insults. The way of truth and the path of integrity is not always easy. It never has been. I've often found myself forgoing the heart in exchange for the temporary pleasure of comfort and the praise of the sheep that accompany trying to fit in. But as we look around us, really, who the hell wants to fit in with the current crowd? You guys will hear from me next episode.